Hey everybody, it's Marianne from Thrive. And in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to three of the key terms when you're working with Microsoft Planner. So Planner is our project management tool uh, inside Microsoft 365, and it's accessible via the web or as a desktop app. Now for today's video, I am working on a PC on the desktop and I am using Google Chrome as my web browser. I've decided to use the web browser version just so that it's the same or doesn't have those clear differences between Mac and PC because we're just working in the web. Now, this is a test planner that I've created so that it has all the pieces in place so that I can define and explain exactly what these three key terms that you need to know about before you get stuck into working with planner. So the terms we're covering today are boards, buckets and tasks. And once you've got your head around these three, everything else will become much clearer. So a board is the whole planner that you've created. So they're the individual planners and they're described as boards. And a board is made up of buckets and tasks. So if you think about some of the competitors to Planner like Trello, you would have a Trello board, you have a Planner board. And when you look at my list here, each of these are individual boards that sit within the, the program called Planner. So this is my Planner board. It has a title, Test Social Media, and you can see it's in the board view. Now within my board, the board is broken down in two different ways. It's broken down in buckets and in other programs, they'll use different terms for this, but it's effectively the columns that we silo and compartmentalize our information into. You can have as many buckets as you like. You can have one bucket and have all of your content in one single bucket because you don't need to break it down in different ways. So you can see here, I've got several buckets. I've got one called hashtags, awareness, client experience, education, which are my pillars, uh, products. And then I've got here, I've got week one, two, three, and four, and I can add a new bucket at any time. I can drag and drop buckets and move them around. So visually I can work with the buckets as I like, but they will always be viewed in this board view. The buckets are a vertical column. And within a bucket is where we have our final item, which is a task. Now a task is an individual piece of content that sits within your planner board. And it, it's sort of like a post-it note, it's tacked into a bucket. You can see here, I don't know why that's so massive, but it is. So you can see here, I've got each task has, this is the board that it is sitting in. This is the title of the task. You can assign it to an individual person. And if you've got multiple people on your board, they'll be able to be assigned individually and you can have multiple people assigned. Also in a task, we, we've got a label. So it's a color coded category system and you can edit those. We've got the bucket that it's in. So you can see this is the list of all of the buckets and I can move it and it will jump around on the board. We've got progress, so we can see it's not started in progress or completed. It has a priority, urgent down to low, a start date and a due date, which will help inform some of the other views that we have available and whether it repeats. So if it's a recurring task that you do regularly, something like your financials or your tax or a particular part of your role that you need to do once a week, once a month, once a fortnight, once a quarter, you can set that up and put all the pieces in so that it will automatically pop up again once you finish one, the next one will appear. We've got a note section. This one here is where I've obviously copied something from another program. We've got a checklist, which is where we can add content that we can work through like a, a task list for that task. We can add attachments and you can see that attachment is the one you can see here in the background and the comments. So the difference between notes and comments is that notes are editable, comments are locked. Once we pin that in, that's it, it's done. And it will sit there in this background here as uh, sort of an audit trail. And as you work with your boards, you'll choose which item on your task is shown on the card. So you can see I've got this attachment. If I turn that off, come on, you can do it. There we go. You can see it just shows the heading now. I can show the notes on a card and you can see I now see all the text. Uh, if I had items on a checklist, so if I was to add
you can see it's showing on the task there and I can make those show up as well. So those are your three key terms. Once you've got your head around how they engage with each other, a board, a bucket, and then a task, you'll be able to create and work with your planner in a far more effective way. If you found this really handy, remember to subscribe to Thrive's channel to stay up to date with all things Planner and Microsoft 365. And if you've enjoyed this video, let me know, pop a comment below.